unicorns welcome back to another episode of seller time i'm so excited to have you here this is episode seven so if you haven't seen any of the other episodes make sure you go back and have a look through the playlist there are six other gorgeous recipes for you to see there but without further ado let's get into today's salad which is a cannelloni bean cannelloni cannellini it's not pasta cannellini bean avocado and dill salad it's super fresh and delicious and i just know that you're gonna love it so let's start making it shall we so we've got the star of the show here this is 240 grams of cannellini beans it was a 400 gram tin but of course once you drain it it only weighs 240 so that's how much there is there We have got a quarter of a cucumber. This is about 150 grams, but of course I did not measure it. We're just going to cut that up into nice little bite-sized pieces. We have got two medium-sized tomatoes. We are just going to chop them up again into just nice little bite-sized pieces however you like to cut them I just you know pack them away at them I guess we have got a yellow bell pepper or as we say in New Zealand, a capsicum. I'm just going to use half of this. So we're of course going to remove the seeds from it and any of the white little insides. I'm going to cut mine into strips and then cut those strips into half. Next we have a whole avocado. And I'm just cutting this into nice little chunks, bite sized pieces if you will. Now I am using just dry dill today because some aphids attacked my herb patch so the dill is not doing so well. So I'm just going to sprinkle on a quite generous amount I guess you could say. If you want to use fresh dill I would recommend 10 to 20 grams just a small bunch of uh, diced dill. And I'm just going to mix that in so that the dill absorbs a little bit of the moisture from the other ingredients. This is already starting to smell amazing. Next we have a whole lemon. We are going to use both the juice and the zest of this. My lemons are off my tree in my backyard, which means they are way fresher than any lemon I could buy at the supermarket. So I'm just going to add in the lemon juice. Now this is totally optional because I know a lot of my viewers don't actually add oil to their food and that's totally okay. This recipe works perfectly fine without it. But I'm just going to put the smallest drizzle of olive oil on mine. And give it a nice sweet stir. 
and our last two ingredients are salt and pepper of course if you are not eating salt you can just have pepper this is optional everything is optional mix and match it around put whatever you want into it make it your own but I do love salt unfortunately so I'm gonna put a lot of it on I'm putting quite a generous amount of pepper as well because Pepper is delicious and I'm going to try and hold myself back and not do too crazy on the salt but of course you've got to have a little for this recipe I reckon it complements the lemon and here we have it a gorgeous salad that serves two now of course you could make this into a bigger meal if you wanted to you could serve it with a bit of baby spinach or some rocket you could add some roasted sweet potatoes to the side that sounds like my favorite meal ever that would be so delicious but of course serve it however you want to and I will see you guys in the next video bye